Hey guys, so the other day I was sitting here welding and I found myself in a pretty common situation where I was wishing I had a third or fourth hand to hold parts together while I was tacking them in place. And I came up with what I think to be a pretty good solution and I wanted to share it with you guys. And so I had these articulated camera mounts laying around and you can see it's got a clamp on one end and on the other end is a GoPro mount for a GoPro camera. Now you can move them around in any position and they're intended to clamp onto tubes, bars, tables, whatever to position your camera. But it got me thinking that maybe I can use the other side as the mount and this side can hold tubes, bars, or pieces of sheet metal in place while I weld. And to make that happen, I designed a little uh, 3D printed part here that clamps in to the GoPro end of things, just like a GoPro mount would, snaps into place, and it accepts an eight millimeter uh, socket head cap screw. Now, this side will go on top of the table into the welding table hole. And for the bottom side, I also designed just a little washer that's got a counter bore for the socket head cap screw. So right here, eight millimeters, it will pass through. And of course it'll pass through the table. And as I mentioned, it will thread into this end of the mount. And that'll give us a nice mount on top of the table to use. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it turns out. Okay, so now from the underside of the table, you can see what I was talking about. I have one of the arms mounted right here, and this is that 3D printed washer I was showing you with the eight millimeter socket head cap screw passing right through and clamping the arm to the top side of the table. Now I have two arms, so I'll show you how easy it is to install the second one. And so I just put the, uh, the second arm here and I have my other washer and bolt in hand. And of course, I'm going to start threading them in by hand as far as I can go. And once I can't get it in with my fingers anymore, I'll just switch to the Allen key and twist this thing up until it's nice and snug right about there. And the arm is secure. Okay, now, so looking at the top side again, you can see that I have two arms installed and they can be moved around any which position that you like. And since these clamps were actually intended to clamp onto round tube or square tube, they do a really great job of holding tube in place of any shape. And additionally, you can of course clamp things like sheet metal and hold those in place while you weld. So tack everything up and then you can finish your welds afterwards. So I've been using these clamps for a while now and they work great. I'll post some links in the description down below to where you can find these so you can purchase them for yourselves. And I'll also be sure to post links to the design files for these little guys that make it possible to mount to your welding table. Now, if you guys have a welding table with a hole size different than 5 8 inch or about 16 millimeters, then you can of course modify those files to work with your table and it's not that hard to do. So if you guys found this useful or helpful, be sure to like this video and please subscribe to my channel for more content.